there is a new update on the Yolobox Pro. Yolobox Pro version 1.6.0, the biggest update yet. All the stunning new features and improvements. Stunning new features! Now, what's new in software version 1.6.0 and firmware version 1.4.0? Let's tap on install. The installation took 6.5 minutes. And boom, this is a startup screen. Okay, for those who haven't used Yolobox before, these icons are my previous streams. There are 10 new features listed in the upgrade notification. And I'm checking it out one by one. Web URL overlay. Add a web page of a live graphics platform and use it as an overlay for professional events. So I just discovered what live graphics platform does. All right. It actually provides professional animated graphics for you to overlay onto your live stream without downloading the graphics. All you need is the web URL of the overlay graphics. Okay, let me show you. Right now, I'm on this platform called uh, singular.live. Singular okay, I have signed up for a free account and uh, selected a, a theme, a template. Okay, so it's a scoreboard. Okay, it's an animated scoreboard. Okay, if you can see that little animation there, when I switch over to a different line, it animates. On the side, actually, you can actually see it happening here. These graphics are generated online in the cloud. You don't have to download them. Okay, all you need to do is to get the URL, which is this link, and feed it to Yolobox Pro. In Yolobox Pro, all you have to do is to go into the overlay panel, then you then you type on add overlay. Okay, there's a web URL selection here. Okay, tap on web URL and then you key in the the URL that came from the live graphics platform. Okay, after keying in, tap on done, adjust the size, tap on done. Okay, there's nothing here, so let me delete. And there it will appear here. Okay, right now it's already turned on. Let me turn it off and on again. The only thing is it takes about um, four seconds to appear here. Live graphics overlay, which comes from the cloud. Check out the link in the description to watch my complete test. Auto switching, preset video sources and switch order. Yolobox Pro can automatically switch for you, best for one-man crew. In the new update, there is this auto switch. Okay, after updating, I see a new, new option in the menu. Okay, it looks like uh, two cameras in a loop. What's that? Okay, if I tap on it, I see it. It's called auto switch. All right, what does it do? Okay, let's let's turn it on. Okay, it doesn't allow me to turn on. You asked me to set the video source first. So let me set video source. Okay, right now I have three video sources. HDMI 1, USB, and HDMI 2. So let's select all of them. Okay, select all of them. Tap on done. Now, I notice that on each one there is a timer. I don't know about 30. I don't know why there's a 30, but when I go in, it's 0 minutes 3 seconds. Okay, by default it was 1 second. I, I switched it to 3 seconds just now for a test. Okay. Okay, then I set this to maybe... Let's set it to 3 seconds. And this one to leave it to 2 seconds. And then next option is switching order. I can either go sequential or random. Okay, let's try sequential first. And then uh, I can select which one is my main source. So let's select HDMI 1 as my main source. Okay, done. Now I'm going to turn on, I'm going to start auto switch. I'm going to count down also. 1000, 2000, 3, switch. 1000, 2000, 3, switch. 1000, 2000, switch. Yeah! So that's how it works. And if you're guessing for what do we need this for? This is usually used in a TV broadcasting station where 
they need to switch to another source at a specific time. Two new multi-view templates, news layout and triple, triple layout. Whoa, 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 triple. Let's tap on add video source. Okay, I see something new, news layout. All right, and now I can scroll. In the previous time, I cannot scroll up. Now I scroll up, I see another thing new, triple. Wow. Okay, uh, all this I've tested before already. Watch my previous videos about PIP video, picture in picture video, split view, side by side view. Today, we have two new layouts under multi views. Let's try news layout. Okay, let's select my headshot as the first source. Next. And the computer screen as my second source. Next. Okay, look at that. It's actually side by side in a different size. I'm going to put an image behind. Okay, let me plug in my SD card first. Okay, before I put an image, let's test this one. Okay, done. And now select the news layout. Okay, let's remove the scoreboard. I'm done with the scoreboard. If I put the full screen, you can see the news reader on one side and the image on the other side. All right, and then there's space below. And if I were to go and edit it, what else can I do? I can only change the background color. Okay, I can't shift the position. I can't change the size. I can only change the color background. Let's see. Oh, something green, green. No, not green, blue. Something more of my corporate color. Done. Yeah, so I can put blue background. So what if I put another picture behind it? Let's tap on this and tap on edit and introduce a background. Okay, let's choose this one, a picture. Done. Oh, so now I can put a, I, I put a photograph behind the background. Tap on done. That's it. So this is news, news layout. Let's add another video source and now choose triple layout. Okay, one or other source A, next source B, next source C, next. Boom! Can I change the size? Can I change position? No. Okay, I can only change the thickness. Okay, thickness between each one. Center. Center means, okay, right now, for source A, I'm seeing the left side of source A. For source C, I'm seeing the, the right side of source C. But if I want to see the center of every source, I will have to turn on center. Tap on done. And then on, on my switcher, I select triple view. This is triple view. Make it big screen. So this is it. Triple view. Cool. Kudos, yellow box. Nice one. USB webcam out now supports outputting both video and audio to a laptop. Okay, kudos claps. Yolobox Pro has got a USB-C output which acts like a which make it act like a webcam. Okay, on the other end of the USB-C cable, I plug into the computer and with a software I can detect what comes out from my Eulabox Pro. Previously, I could see the image. Okay, I can even do split screen if I want. Yeah. Previously, I can see an image without sound. Now with this update, I can even hear the sound. Okay, want me to let you hear? Okay, I have to turn on the audio here. All right. Test, test, one, two. All right, that's the sound coming from the Yolo Box webcam output. Okay, when am I going to use this? I'm going to use it in my next multi camera Zoom online training. Support scheduling a live stream event within one year. Once again, let's start a new stream. Press on the plus button. Create a live stream. Let's do a Schedule test. Okay. Copy. Done. Let's go back in and do a description paste. Done. 
okay now the schedule is here scheduling is here let's schedule <laughs> one year right they say one year right today is 25th let's do 23rd april 2023 april 2023 april 2023 23rd okay let's you see i can't schedule beyond this it's all grayed out see okay that's that's the meaning of um scheduling one year the calendar won't even let me advance to may june july not even 26 so it's all grayed out all right well, whereas i can go back go back so so that means i can schedule until 25th until 25th april next year exactly one year okay but for this test let's let's schedule a christmas show 25th december okay 25th december time let's do it on a, in the morning 9 a.m 9 a.m a.m okay right create okay so it says you're scheduled but on which platform we haven't we haven't settled yet so let's go in i'm going to stream to adrian video image ready on youtube so if i go to my youtube account i can see a scheduled stream streamed for 25th december 2022 scheduled ads timing for sd card videos all right i'm going to the video switcher to add a video source i'm going to select sd card video one let me choose this video and tap on done okay it's uh if i select it from the video switcher i can see it's a vertical video of me all right about to dance okay so this new feature is all about the timing so as you can see from the video switcher thumbnail now i can see the timing of the sd card videos so this will give me confidence as to how long the video has been playing so on one side i can see the running number okay from zero seconds all the way up to the end of the video which is 30 seconds long okay so that's the meaning of it adds timing to the sd card videos you can now save all graphic overlays while creating new live stream basically what this means is if i were to set up a live stream and go in and then go into the overlay panel and add a few overlays okay whatever I add in this overlay panel will be there for my next stream for example if i were to get out of this stream even if i schedule a new stream here this new scheduled stream is for a few months later in christmas and if i go in and i go into overlay panel yep i will still see the same overlays that i set up for my other streams so that's what it means when they say now you can save all graphic overlays while creating a new live stream all right including the web url live graphic overlay you can now adjust transparency for countdown timer overlay and multi-views backgrounds now i go into my overlay panel select the countdown timer okay if i if i tap on if i tap and hold the countdown timer graphic overlay and tap on the edit button i can see two new commands all right one is the dimming color okay i can select the color that one right now it's black and i can select the dimming level or what they call transparency go to the max and it's totally black go to the minimum it's totally transparent all right you can see through the countdown timer previously it was like this almost 80 percent black so you can't see much of what's going behind for me i like this i like my viewers to see what's going on behind while the while the timer is counting down so probably i'll just choose slightly about five to ten percent all right so people can see me so when it's done you time up time up done and there okay you can see the countdown timer 
and the action behind the countdown timer. Of course, we can resize the countdown timer if we want. Oh, yes. Talk about resizing. That's what I will do. Okay. I'm going to resize the countdown timer. Uh, size, scale, countdown timer. And usually, I want the countdown timer to be at the corner. All right. Not so obtrusive. Yeah. So if I were to add a video source and select a multi-view background, let's choose the new one, new layout. Okay, choose HDMI one as my as my main source. Next, and a USB as my secondary source. And I can add a background image. Let me add this image. Done. And I have a a command here, a control here to control the background image opacity. I can make it opaque, which means black, simply black. All right. Once that's done, yeah, because if it's original color is too bright, okay, it's more like a distraction. We want people to focus on the news reader or the presenter and the content. There you go. So you can see a subtle background. Usually I will use a a branding background so you can see my company name below or some product view okay but this is an example UI redesign for the account screen you can opt to update to the latest version manually by tapping on the upgrade button let's go to the account screen go back go back the account screen is over here this little man with a gear icon Let's go in. So I am on my account page right now, and if and it looks the same, except maybe for system update. Okay, and then if I tap on upgrade, it says I'm already in the latest version. All right, and the only difference I see here is this option system update. If I go in. I see I can uh, update the HDMI a patch, a new patch. Okay, I, I, I won't touch this now. Okay, until, until I have problems with HDMI, then I will touch this. Fix the green screen bar issue with a laptop as video input, which occurred on a small portion of computer models. Please go to account, system upgrade to update and fix. We are already on the updated to on the latest version so we can't upgrade and furthermore i don't have the green line issues for both my computers sometimes i use my mac sometimes i use my windows and they don't have the green line so i can't verify this and we have already updated so there's nothing to show you we are done oh we have gone through the 10 new features of the new Yellow Box Pro update. Okay, software version 1.6.0 and firmware version 1.4.0. So the Yellow Box Pro has been coming up with new features once in a while. All right, so to find out more about what else the Yellow Box Pro can do, check out the link below and see you in the next one. This is Adrian Lee from videolane.com.